What's up, Jacket fans? I'm Roddy Jones here with our new head coach, Jeff Collins. Welcome to our signing day show presented by Nissan. We are here in the beautiful Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Part of your philosophy, coach, has been embracing Atlanta. Right. What does it mean to start this show off in the crown jewel across the country in terms of stadium? Yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful facility. I've actually been here four times since I got hired. Came to the MLS Cup where the Atlanta United won. Uh, came to the state championship games that were held last Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, then I was here for the Falcons game uh, on Sunday with some former Georgia Tech greats and uh, now back in here for signing day special. It's awesome. Coach Collins, what's the last 10 days been like for you? <laughs> it, it's been a whirlwind. Uh, the interview process with Todd Stansberry uh, was great. Uh, getting the job, meeting the team, going through the press conference and now uh, the last nine days uh, assembling the staff, uh, putting the final touches to this recruiting class. Uh, it's been a whirlwind. So I saw the Waffle House Cup coming in, and they giving you the frequent flyer card there at so Waffle House yet? So I actually have a black card now for the Waffle House. Um, I've eaten there every day for the last nine days. The lady this morning knew my order right away, so uh, exciting times. More importantly, you got a follow from them on Twitter, too. I did, and, and met the president, and they retweeted me. It's a, it's a big moment. Yeah. So, so Coach, I, I was involved in the recruiting process with you when you right. were here at Georgia Tech uh, last time. That's the director of player personnel. Right. What's your philosophy when recruiting? I know it a little bit, having sure. been on the other side, but when you're going after a kid, what's your philosophy? Yeah, so the biggest first thing is evaluation. Evaluation of talent, uh, size, speed, athletic ability. Uh, and then the great thing about this place is uh, we get to target some really good academic students uh, and then go from there. And then you, the big thing for me is branding and marketing and just being a relentless recruiter. Uh, everything in this day and age is about relationships and that's what recruiting is about. And uh, building the brand and building the culture of the football team starts with the recruiting. Now, I got recruited in 2007. So we met in 2006 when text messaging was just coming out. Right. How, how has recruiting changed since then? Yeah, well, I think the big thing, and I don't know if we want to date ourselves, but uh, <laughs> one of the big parts of the recruiting process then was in MySpace. So we had, we had the MySpace thing rolling, but now it's Twitter, it's Instagram, uh, all of those things to give access to, to what we do and who we are. And, uh, but I think that the, the text messaging piece has been a huge deal. I'm just glad you didn't disqualify me for the little scrappy I had on my MySpace page <laughs> back then. <laughs> but, but, but coach, in, in such a short period of time, in nine days to really put your stamp on this class, right. How are you able to form those relationships with the kids that you were going Yeah, after? so just right away, right after I got hired, you know, reaching out to the guys that were current commits um, and making sure they knew that, you know, they committed to the school, uh, not necessarily the coaches, even though there were some great coaches uh, that did recruit them. Uh, the Georgia Tech brand, the Georgia Tech education is special. So just wanted to reach out to them and make sure they knew, uh, you know, they, they had a home with us. Um, and then we had to forge some new relationships in a very short amount of time and uh, we were able to do that. Uh, we were able to flip a couple of kids from some other schools and then actually get some other guys uh, that I kind of knew about uh, to come to Georgia Tech as well. So after this signing day, what's it going to be like for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'll, you know, there'll be the dead period. Uh, I'll go home for a couple of days, enjoy Christmas with my wife and daughter, and then I'm going to go up to the uh, bowl game to Detroit, uh, meet some of the Georgia Tech football family, uh, some of our players' parents, uh, so they kind of get to see me live and in person, and shake their hands and give them a hug and let them know that their sons are in good care with us. And uh, you know, then I'll come back in January and get ready to hit the ground running again recruiting. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. We'll talk to you and Andy Demetro go through the signing class in just a second. Uh, I appreciate it. It's been fun. Thanks, Roddy. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, guys. <laughs> How are you? Good. Pretty good. Pretty hey, good. Fantastic. Welcome, man. Good to see oh. you. Good to see you. Yeah. Hey. I wanted somebody that knew how special this place was. That this is just not a plug and play job. That you can't just come from somewhere else and and, and think, yeah, you're just coming to another good academic institution that we're a little different. Coach Jeff Collins is one of the most talented coaches and one of the most talented people I've ever gotten to know. And it is a real honor to call him our and your next 
head football coach. Coach Jeff Potter. The big thing for me is relationships. It is about relationships. When you turn on tape of any of my teams, any of my defenses, when they play, it is so hard. They play with relentless effort. They play with passion. They play with energy. They play with juice because they know there's somebody that's on that sideline that loves them with all of their heart, that cares about them more than just what they can do on the football field, that wants what's best for them in every single phase of their life. <laughs> We're a national brand, or really, we're even a global brand. There are no shortcuts. You either want to be elite, you either want to be the best of the best, you want to be challenged in every phase of your life so that you can excel, and that's what this place, this place provides. Hi everyone, Andrew Dementor, joined of course by head coach Jeff Connells. We're here in the homegrown legends section of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I know you got a lot of homegrown legends from around the state, around the southeast, around the country set to join you in your first year on the flats. I can already hear that fax machine rolling. You ready to introduce your kids? Absolutely. All right, the first member of our Georgia Tech signing class from 2019, a young man who electrified Mercedes-Benz Stadium last week. Say hello to Jordan Yates, quarterback from Alpharetta, Georgia, and Milton High. He helped lead Milton to its first state championship in the school's 69-year history last week. Earned three stars from ESPN, 24-7 sports and rivals. Rivals tabbed him the number 19 dual threat quarterback in the country. 6,400 total yards of offense, 65 total touchdowns. His final two seasons at Milton. Coach, with your scheme, your offense, what makes your need such a great fit? Yeah, I was able to be here for the state championships game in, the, in this great stadium. And just the way Jordan competed, uh, was elusive, could make plays, you know, that when things broke down. Uh, tremendous competitor, can run with the ball, uh, great velocity on the deep passes, very accurate. Uh, but my favorite thing about him was he came on his official visit how engaged he was in the process, uh, how he was recruiting every member of the guys that were that were on that recruiting weekend. And you can just tell he's got a leadership ability, poise, um, and understands to be a great player, to be a great quarterback, you need other great players to come with you. Uh, so just his recruiting presence uh, throughout the weekend and how he's been with this entire recruiting class has me very excited. Embodies what it means to be a quarterback and a winner as well. You might remember his uncle TJ Yates. He was a four-year starter at quarterback for North Carolina. Now it's Jordan's turn to star in the ACC. Jordan Yates is officially a Yellow Jacket. Stay tuned. We'll have our next signee in just a moment. Welcome back, doing our signing day show presented by Nissan from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. You got another in-state product joining your signing class. Coach, let's meet him right now. Demetrius Knight is second, a quarterback, 6'2", 220 pounds. He's from Locust Grove, prepped at Strong Rock Christian. Three stars from ESPN, 24-7 Sports and Rivals. 24-7 Sports tabbed him as the number 30 dual threat quarterback in the nation. But when you see Demetrius Knight, you see versatility. Yeah, absolutely. A, a tremendous athlete. Uh, you know, they said that he, when he came to camp, wearing back-to-back -back four fives, um, with that size and that weight, uh, gets you really excited. And, you know, obviously you start him off at quarterback, um, but you know he's interested in just helping the team however he can. And uh, so I think there's going to be big things for him in the future, um, whether it be offense, defense, at the quarterback position. Uh, so just really excited what he brings to the flats. You said he ran a four five. I think his opponents at Strong Rock Christian knew that. He had a 99-yard touchdown run this year. A four-year starter at quarterback, a two time team captain and Demetrius Knight is officially a Yellow Jacket. It's our 2019 signing day special presented by Nissan here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Andy Demetra, head coach Jeff Collins, and you continue to enrich the running back ranks in your first season at Georgia Tech. Let's meet your newest signee coming from Jacksonville, Florida. 
He is Devin Ellison, 5'9", 195 pounder from Bartram Trail High. Another three-star prospect by ESPN 24-7 Sports and Rivals. Set a school record in that powerhouse Bartram Trail program, 3,300 rushing yards during his four-year prep career. He was second team All-State as a junior. Devin Ellison, what has you excited about him? Uh, he's a big physical back, uh, you know, can lower his shoulder, finish runs. Um, but the nice thing too is once he breaks the second level, uh, he's got the speed to hit a home run. Uh, very competitive guy, can catch the ball out of the backfield, uh, does a lot of things for him, adds position flexibility to us. Um, but just being around him during the recruiting visit, you know, trying to build relationships with these guys before they get on campus, uh, an engaging personality, and you can tell the guys around him uh, really want to play with him and, you know, are excited about the future that we have going to Georgia Tech. Terrific student as well, carries a 4.1 GPA at Bartram Trail, plans to major in biology at Georgia Tech and pursue a career in sports medicine after football gets set for Devin Ellison coming to the flats. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Our 2019 signing day special presented by Nissan rolls on. Coach, it's time to meet your next signee. We're keeping it in the family this time. It's Jamal Camp, 6'2", 275 pound defensive lineman from Cumming, Georgia. South Forsyth High, he joins his older brother Jalen on the flats. Jalen, of course, is a wide receiver. Jamal puts his hand on the ground. He likes to make a mess of it in the opposing backfield. How about 27 quarterback hurries, seven sacks his senior year at South Forsyth High. Three-star prospect according to ESPN 24-7 Sports and Rivals. What can he mean to your defensive line group? Absolutely, you know, we're going to be transitioning to more of a four down front, you know, transition from the three down front that we were in the past. Uh, so getting a guy inside that can play the G, can play the three technique uh, is really exciting for us. Um, and he's a legacy, his brother plays for us. And uh, interesting thing, the very first set of parents that I ever met uh, were the camps. And uh, just getting to know them uh, really quickly and then to spend the weekend with them on the official visit, um, you know, raise two fine young men and uh, just excited about their future with us here in Atlanta. Well, two successful seasons at Temple in Philadelphia. You know all about brotherly love. You got another pair of brothers coming in. Jamal Camp joining his brother Jalen as the newest member of the Georgia Tech signing class. Our signing day coverage rolls on. Coach, let's meet the newest member of your 2019 class. We stay local, Marietta, Georgia, and Pope High School. Say hello to Zach Owens, the newest member of the Yellow Jackets, a 6'3", 198-pound wideout. Three stars from ESPN 24-7 Sports and Rivals. Racked up all region and all county honors. How about 3,000 all-purpose yards, 31 touchdowns over his final three prep seasons. What attracted you to Zach Owens? Yeah, first of all, great speed. You know, he's got, you know, he jumps off the tape uh, with his versatility, so we'll be able to move him around. Uh, might even play some H for us um, as we implement the new system. Uh, but just a great competitor, great family. Uh, you know, get to be around him on the official visit. Uh, very engaging, uh, you know, great kid, high character 
and uh, so he's going to be willing to work really, really hard uh, to make a name for himself here at Georgia Tech. Marietta, Georgia always turns out talent. Zach Owens is no exception. The newest member of your Georgia Tech class of 2019. Stick around. We'll have our next signee coming up. Let's meet the newest member of your Georgia Tech signing class of 2019. We stay in state and go to Savannah, Georgia, where you welcome to the flats. Daquan Dow, 6'3", 250 pound defensive lineman prepped at Cavalry Day School, a three star recruit according to ESPN 24 7 Sports and Rivals. He was a three time all region honoree, earned the recognition on defense as a junior and senior, also earned all region as a sophomore at tight end. Versatile kid. Tell us more about Daquan Dallas. Yeah, a relentless competitor, plays with a high motor. The thing that got, gets me excited as we're trying to build this roster uh, is the position flexibility. He can play off the edge, um, he can move inside on third down, and he's played some tight end before too. Um, so he's gonna probably be a short yardage uh, goal line tight end for us as well. Uh, he's playing off the edge, so really excited about him. Great family, values academics, and really wants to be a part of the culture that we're building uh, here in Atlanta. The Savannah area has been a rich pipeline for a number of years for Georgia Tech. It continues in the class of 2019 with Daquan Douse from Savannah. Stick around, we'll have our next signee coming up. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Time to meet the newest member of the Georgia Tech class of 2019. Coaches stay in state and you nab Jordan Huff from Madison, Georgia, a product of Morgan County High, 6'2", 185 pound defensive back. ESPN 24-7 sports rivals all have him as three stars. He's an all around athlete, excelled on both sides of the field. What has you excited about Jordan Huff? Yeah, the, the big thing we value on the defensive side of the ball here is the link. And he has that, we're gonna play press man uh, across the board on almost every down. Uh, I coach the secondary, so I'm gonna be heavily involved with, with Jordan. Uh, really excited about him. Uh, had built a great relationship with him and his family. Uh, all of them are excited that he's gonna be staying close to home so they can see him play uh, here in Atlanta. Uh, but just the length and the speed and the competitiveness uh, that Jordan shows has me really fired up. Had a pair of pick sixes as a junior at Morgan County. Jordan Hoff, the newest member of your Georgia Tech class of 2019. We'll have our next on Eve coming up in moments. Welcome back. We are here in the homegrown legend section in Mercedes Benz Stadium. We're going to keep it local for the next member of your 2019 signing class from Grayson High in Grayson, Georgia comes Jeremiah Smith, 6'2", 190 pound defensive back, another three star prospect from ESPN and 24 seven sports. First team all region helped lead Grace into three region titles, a 47 and seven overall record is four prep seasons. Coach Collins, we know Jeremiah Smith is a winner. What else does he bring to your signing plan? Yeah, absolutely. You know, position flexibility. He can play the, on the back end at free safety. Also see him able to play the nickel and play the dime for us. Uh, really like baseball players to be 
uh, at safety position for us. I'm back there coaching the DBs. Uh, so really excited about his range, his ball skills, uh, his intelligence to get everybody lined up and execute uh, our defense at a high level. You are a defensive maven, so you know what you like. And I know there's a lot to like about Jeremiah Smith, the newest member of your Georgia Tech signing class. Stay with us. Much more of our signing day coverage still to come presented by Nissan. Glad to have you with us for our special 2019 Georgia Tech Signing Day special presented by Nissan here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Another tight end sent to join you, Coach. Let's welcome in your newest signee. He is Dylan Devaney, 6'6", 255 pounder from Medford, New Jersey, and the Hun School here in three stars from ESPN and 24-7 Sports. Ranked as high as the number 28 tight end of the country for the 2019 class by ESPN. Averaged 23 and a half yards per reception at the Hun School. He had a previous relationship with him when you were at Temple, so you have been on him for a while. What do you like so much about him coming to the flats? Yeah, great family. His dad actually played at Temple uh, back in the day, and uh, you know, he was the very first home visit I did as the uh, head coach at Georgia Tech. Uh, flew out there the very first Sunday that I could. Uh, did the home visit, got him in here on official visit, and uh, he's such a good academic kid and, uh, you know, values education. So uh, it was an easy fit knowing that he could play tight end and start the tradition of tight end play again at Georgia Tech. I'm really excited about him. I was a big time basketball player uh, and then played one year of high school football and really found his niche and is going to be a big time player for us. His best years certainly seem to be ahead of him. 6'6", 255 pounder Dylan Devaney, the newest member of the Georgia Tech class of 2019. Stick around. Our next signee is coming up in moments. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Time to meet the next member of your Georgia Tech class of 2019. And we go down to the state of Florida coach for a wide receiver. He is Kalani Norris, six foot, 180 pounder from Christopher Columbus High, another three star prospect. He was first team all Dade County, selected to participate in the Dade versus North All Star game. There is something about those skill guys from Dade County. What can you tell us about Kalani Norris? Yeah, and I've seen him live and in person at camp and was really excited about him. Uh, you know, coming on the official visit, we can get to know him even further. Uh, very uh, versatile athlete, uh, can play slot receiver for us, but can also uh, get out on the edge and a tremendous ball skills and uh, just a really good route runner and highly competitive which is what we need in the flats. His brother Nicholas was an all-conference wide receiver at Western Kentucky. Now it's Kalani's turn. Kalani Norris, the newest member of your Georgia Tech 2019 signing class. Our next signee is coming up momentarily.
RAC Presley Harvin, Georgia Tech's punter, earned second team all ACC honors in 2018, helping Georgia Tech to lead the ACC in net punting. Special teams is something, Coach, you talked about in your opening press conference that you prize. You got another guy who could potentially help you on special teams. He had some electric moments as a special team player in high school, a defensive back. He's the newest member of your signing class, and he's coming your way from Nashville, Tennessee. Wesley Walker, 6'1", 190-pounder from Endsworth High. He's a defensive back, earned four stars, and the number 37 defensive back in the country from ESPN. What can you tell us about Wesley Walker? Yeah, uh, highly competitive. He's got length, he's got speed, he's got range. And one of my favorite things watching tape is guys that really stand out on special teams um, so they can do a lot of things for us um, as we implement our package, be attacking, be aggressive in everything that we do, get everybody lined up. I think he could play the nickel, he could play the dime, and obviously be a big time safety force as well. Uh, so I'm excited to coach him. The state of Tennessee has been very good to the Yellow Jackets over the years, and it continues with Wesley Walker from Nashville, the newest member of your Georgia Tech class of 2019. More coverage still to come here, presented by Nissan. Our 2019 signing day special presented by Nissan rolls on and we roll on coach to our next signee joining Georgia Tech for next fall. He is a running back and he is Tony Amerson 511 220 pounder from Montgomery, Alabama and St. James High, a three star prospect by ESPN 24 seven sports and rivals. The only player in Montgomery City history to top 5000 career rushing yards, 27 rushing touchdowns as a senior with the way you utilize running backs in your system. What has you excited about Tony Amerson? Yeah, his flexibility, you know, he can be an every down back. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. Uh, but just uh, again, the theme uh, uh, with all the guys is what competitive spirit they have and uh, the multiple things that they can do for us. And, uh, you know, I know his coaches for a long time and they rave about the guy, um, just his competitive attitude and uh, how good he wants to be and is willing to work to get it. They call him Touchdown Tony and he's headed to the flats. Tony Amberson, the next member of your Georgia Tech signing class. times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> Welcome back, Coach. You ready to meet your newest signee? Absolutely. All right, let's switch to the defensive side of the football and a linebacker coming to the flats. Say hello to Chico Bennett Jr., 6'4", 215 pounds. Well, that right there has you excited. There's a linebacker. He's originally from Ashburn, Virginia. Spent his final two prep seasons at Battleground Academy in Franklin, Tennessee. 
earned three stars from ESPN, 24-7 Sports, and Rivals. He was first team All-State as a junior in 2017, likely to become a two-time honoree when the 2018 All-State teams are announced. We know he's got a great name. How about his game, Chico Bennett Jr. Coach. Yeah, the big thing that we value on our defense side of the ball is just length and speed, and a Chico has that. Um, got a relentless motor, great pass rusher, uh, flexibility of positions, can put his hand down on the ground and come off the edge, stand up and can drop into coverage. Uh, but just being around him on his official visit, meeting his family, uh, wonderful parents that have raised him uh, the right way. So just excited about his character, his work ethic, and all the intangibles that he's going to bring to the flat sport. A second generation major college football player. His dad, Chico Sr., played at Hawaii. Chico Jr. has found his paradise. And it's right here on the flats, the newest member of your Georgia Tech 2019 class. Stay tuned. We'll have our next signee coming up next. Welcome back to our signing day special presented by Nissan. One year ago, Wanya Thomas committed to the Yellow Jackets from Niceville, Florida. Oh, and it was a nice freshman season for Wanya. Named to 24 7 Sports' true freshman All American team as a kick returner. Had those kick returns for a touchdown and back to back games to conclude the regular season. Also had a 95 yard pick six versus Louisville. And he's got a fellow Floridian joining him in the defensive backs room. Coach, let's meet your newest member of your signing class. Keenan Johnson is now a Yellow Jacket, 6'1", 175 from Mineola, Florida, Lake Mineola High School at ESPN 24-7 Sports and Rivals three-star prospect. Five interceptions his senior season. He ran two of those back for touchdowns. What has you pumped up about Keenan Johnson? Yeah, we're going to be attacking in everything we do in this program, especially on defense. Uh, so having a long physical corner out there where we're going to play press coverage, um, highly intelligent, so our coverage changed up. He's going to be able to handle. And uh, my favorite thing about him is he's got a short memory. Uh, he, he's aggressive on the edge, and uh, that's just what you need to play elite corner in this league. His brother Kenyon, a wide receiver for UCF, so you know Keenan is well-schooled in the art of pass coverage. Keenan Johnson coming to the flats. Stick around. We'll have our next signee coming up. Among the accolades earned by the Yellow Jackets in 2018, Parker Braun, the junior guard from Texas, named first team all ACC offensive lineman, earned another ACC offensive lineman of the week honor this year, a mainstay on the offensive line, and he's going to get some help on the offensive line as we welcome you back to our signing day coverage presented by Nissan here from Mercedes Benz Stadium. And coach, signing day isn't just about the freshmen, it's about the graduate transfers as well, and you got an offensive lineman joining your ranks by way of Vanderbilt University. Let's say hello to Jared Southers. Boy, he's got some size. 6'5", 315 pounder, originally from South Orange, New Jersey. Saw action in 27 games over his three seasons with the Commodores. He's played at right guard. He's played at tackle. A guy that you see is a good fit for your offensive scheme. What do you like about him? Yeah, the big thing is we transition uh, from the triple option to more of a, a NFL style spread attack. Uh, just having somebody that was experienced uh, in that offense can come in here, uh, provide leadership, pro provide experience, and position flexibility again is the theme of the day. Uh, somebody that can play all the positions across the line and uh, really competitive and highly intelligent. I've uh, been blessed to have a really good relationship with him. His family just moved to the Atlanta area, uh, so that was a huge part of him joining us here in Atlanta. Two-time academic All-SEC will use his final year of eligibility with the Jackets. Already earned his bachelor's in economics at Vanderbilt. He's pursuing his MS in economics at Georgia Tech, and he's pursuing one last season on the flats with Coach Collins. Jared Southers, the newest member of your Georgia Tech class of 19.
Now, as you look at the class in its entirety, the first class for you, Georgia Tech, what has you excited? Yeah, just really excited about the position flexibility, the versatility of the guys. Um, and, you know, there's still another month of the recruiting process uh, in January, so we'll see uh, who we're going to go hot and heavy after in this ne next phase of it. Uh, but really excited how we started and uh, really excited to get the, the staff here uh, in January as well and to hit the ground running and get to work with uh, our current Yellow Jacket team in January through off-season conditioning, through spring practice, and obviously through the summer getting ready for the season. Well, you've certainly earned your rest. Now, this only marks the first part of the first day of the early signing period. Student athletes have until the end of Friday to submit their letters of intent. And then, of course, you have the signing period in February as well. But for now, job well done. You have earned your rest, Coach. Thank you. Our head coach Jeff Collins and our entire crew, I'm Andy Demetra. Thanks so much for watching our 2019 Signing Day special presented by Nissan here from Georgia Tech.